already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number 10, Josh Daniel. <laughs> the judges are constantly dealing with their personal demons, and certain songs have a power to hit them really hard. Josh Daniel's rendition of Labyrinth's Jealous was one of those songs. This heartbreaking ballad tells the story of a child abandoned by one of their parents, and Labyrinth used his own experience as an inspiration for the lyrics. This song had a different meaning to Josh Daniel, who picked it because he wanted to honor his late friend. His audition took place only a few days after Simon Cowell said goodbye to his late mother Julie, who passed away. He had an emotional breakdown during Daniel's performance and started crying midway through. Simon remained silent after his fellow judges offered their comments and left the panel right after the vote. The producers weren't sure if they should air this footage during broadcast, but Cowell allowed it because he felt it would be unfair on the contestant not to show it. His audition was powerful and raw, and it was never his intention to upset anyone. Number 9. Christopher Maloney Christopher, where's your man? Bring her out. Bring her out. A lot of talented people never found success because they weren't able to overcome stage fright. Christopher Maloney almost became one of them. His audition on season 9 of The X Factor broke everyone's hearts, but it took him years to actually get there. He filled out several applications for the show and ended up tearing up all of them since he feared his nerves will get in the way. Maloney was visibly shaking after appearing in front of the judges for the first time and immediately got the audience on his side. He moved them to tears with his power powerful rendition of Betty Midler's The Rose and easily progressed to the next round. He finished up in third place once the season wrapped up, but some of the viewers felt he didn't deserve it. Maloney used to run his own cruise ship cabaret show before appearing on The X Factor. That's why hardcore fans accused him of being phony and faking his stage fright while auditioning for this show. Number 8. Jillian Jensen <laughs> Many people probably agree that high school was a living hell that they will never go back to again. The X Factor contestant Jillian Jensen feels the same way, since she was severely bullied by her peers back in the day. This young singer didn't have a lot of people supporting her passion along the way, and her classmates enjoyed tearing her down. Jillian found inspiration in the music written by other artists who share her pain, including the judge Demi Lovato, who was touched by her story. Tears started streaming down her face during Jensen's Jensen's intense rendition of Who Are You by Jessie J, and she stood up to hug her once she was done. The rest of the panel was just as impressed by her teary-eyed performance and unanimously voted yes. All of Jillian's supporters joined her on stage to celebrate her big moment, and seeing their joy was one of the most touching parts of her audition. Number 7. Christian Burroughs Ooh. Emotions were running high during Christian Burroughs' X Factor audition, right after the judges discovered that he's a songwriter as well. They asked him to perform one of his original pieces, and the young singer moved them to tears with his poignant tribute to his late baby brother Nathan. He was only two months old when he passed away, and Christian doesn't really remember him since he was only two at the time. He wrote the song for his late brother because it broke his heart that they missed out on growing up together, and singing about him was a way to imagine what could have been. The judges were moved by his talent and courage because it really took guts to share something so personal with the rest of the world. He never performed his original song two again in front of anyone but his mom before that audition. The judges appreciated his vulnerability and honesty and rewarded him with a spot in the next round of the competition. Number 6. Caitlin Van Beck Caitlin Van Beck was passionate about singing from a very young age, but she was surrounded by people who tried to crush her dream. She was constantly bullied by her peers who somehow convinced her that she's not good enough. Their negative comments really got to Caitlin, and at one point, she wanted to leave singing behind. 
She would come home crying, but her dad was always there to comfort her and remind her that she shouldn't listen to mean voices and simply follow her dream. He gave Caitlin the confidence boost that she needed to keep going forward and encouraged her to audition for The X Factor. The judges were inspired by her story, especially Nicole Scherzinger, who couldn't hide her tears after Caitlin's voice started breaking by the end of the song. She gave her a big hug and told her that she's a force to be reckoned with. Simon was also impressed by her emotional rendition of Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson and compared her to the Grammy-winning singer who got her big break thanks to the American Idol. Number 5. Lucy Spragan And he's sitting by a bed in the hospital ward and their daughter walks in with a family of her own. Lucy Spragan won the hearts of the audience with her cheerful original songs, but some of them came from a pretty dark place. Her hit single, Tea and Toast, is a case in this point. This original track was inspired by an elderly couple she spotted walking down the street. While Lucy watched them, the lady collapsed and her husband couldn't bear with the idea of losing her. The young singer helped them get into an ambulance and later wrote a song inspired by this experience. Despite its happy-go-lucky tone, Tea and Toast told a pretty touching story as the audience was affected by its emotional lyrics. By the time she was done, everyone in the studio was up on their feet, giving Lucy a standing ovation. She broke into tears after seeing how much everyone loved her song, including the judges. They all voted yes, but Lucy eventually decided to leave the show after an illness prevented her from performing. That didn't stop her from finding success outside the X Factor though, and she's dropped several albums ever since. Number 4. Amy Connolly Moving Cheryl to tears isn't really an accomplishment, but doing it every time you appear in front of her certainly is. Amy Connolly is one of the very few contestants who managed to do that. Her first audition took place in 2008 and the two women immediately clicked. Cheryl was touched by her performance and supported her as she rose through the ranks. She was eventually eliminated from the show, but Cheryl welcomed her with open arms when she tried to make a comeback in 2014. Both women were teary-eyed by the end of her second audition because they were head over heels to see each other again. Amy made it to the next round, but there came a point when Cheryl was the only one who believed in her. Simon felt they made the right choice by kicking her out the first time because she wasn't the best singer they came across. Amy broke down after hearing his mean comments, and Cheryl was there to comfort her one last time. Number 3. Jake Quickenden Jake Quickenden's first X Factor audition took place in 2012, but he was quickly eliminated from the competition. He came back two years later, but his life completely fell apart in the meantime since his teen brother passed away after a long battle with bone cancer. Once the judges asked him to put a little bit more heart into the songs he was performing, Jake paid an emotional tribute to his brother with a heartbreaking rendition of Say Something. All of the judges were impressed by his performance, including Simon Cowell, who was never a big fan of of past contestants coming back. Quickenden did pretty well the second time around, but he was sent back home during the live shows. This appearance on The X Factor did give him all the experience he needed though, and he went on to appear on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and Dancing on Ice. Number 2. Monica Michael There are several X Factor hopefuls who have moved judges with their original songs they have written for their loved ones. Monica Michael is one of them. This youth worker from London explains that music saved her life when she went off the rails during her teenage years. She feared her sister Natalie might go down the same road and found a touching way to tell her she's there for her no matter what. She wrote a song called Pretty Little Sister and performed it in front of the judges in hope that she'll get four yeses and make her family proud. Cheryl couldn't hide her tears while listening to her powerful lyrics and at one point it seems like Monica was also about to lose it. After a while, Simon raised his hand and cut the music. He told her she's the reason why they make shows like this one, and her future instantly became a little bit brighter. Number 1. Andrea Faustini Andrea, you know, it was a stunning vocal. Several X Factor contestants made an impression on the judges with their rendition of I Didn't Know My Own Strength by Whitney Houston, but Andrea Faustini's cover went down in history as the most memorable one. 
He performed this song during the boot camp stage of the competition and said he picked it because it hit close to home. He didn't know he could be strong on stage before joining the X Factor and proved just how powerful he is with this performance. Mel B and Cheryl Cole were so touched by the emotion in his voice that they started tearing up midway through. Faustini did this song justice and it was clear he really meant each and every word of it. His triumph was a little bittersweet since Mel B wanted to mentor him but already used up all of her spots during the six chair challenge. She eventually cast aside one of the other contestants to make room for Faustini and he finished third when the season wrapped up. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.